What did you call me? You what? I heard what you said. I didn't say anything. I haven't seen you in my life. Oh, don't give me that. Stop it! Come out the tube station with the victims and follow them into one of the darker streets. Anyone who looks vulnerable or disorientated like this lady is a prime target. Now he spotted her. He does the front tail, the other one stays behind. And they follow her into the surrounding streets, out of range of the cameras. In this case, they knocked her down and snatched her handbag. She ended up with a broken wrist. Thank you, Jeff. Don't thank me, Gov. Thank the transport police. It's their footage. Right, any questions? Do you know how many of them there are? Well, it's hard to tell. They all wear the same kind of jackets, usually with the hoods up. Trainers. Transport police think it's a gang. Kids out to prove themselves, get their clothing allowance. Pretty much. We know most of them are going to grow out of it, but in this case it seems like they're being organised. These attacks are increasing in both brutality and frequency. It's the third one this week. Right, the DIU's received information about a 19-year-old called Richie Hutchins, who's been running a gang of street robbers around the Broadway. Who's the informant? Anonymous. Crime Stoppers got a call this morning and they sent this over. They think it's worth following through, even though the call is new. So we don't know if it's kosher. I mean, it could be somebody just taking a pop at a rival gang member, couldn't it? Well, they've given it an A1 classification, so whoever made the call must have sounded convincing. Well, Hutchins has got the right sort of form. Two previous for dipping on the tube. First time, community service. Second time, suspended sentence. Lenient judge. Tosh, I want you to get onto him straight away. There's an address on the Dollis Park estate. The rest of you, I want you on the plot, 8 o'clock. Why tonight? Well, that's the best part of the information. The Crime Stoppers caller said there's going to be a meet tonight. If it's a gang, we need some backup. Kids of that age, they're like eels. I'll be squaring that with Mr Conway. Four officers? Doesn't the rest of Sunhill deserve policing tonight? It's only till the tube closes. Look, I don't mind committing officers on the basis of a CID investigation, Jack, but this is just hearsay, isn't it? The latest information from Crime Stoppers squares with the intelligence we've been getting from the transport police. But you're dealing with muggers, not foreign agents. They don't operate consistently. The Yard's latest research in street crime indicates that they do. Oh, yeah? How's that, then? Well, it seems in the vast majority of cases there's a focal point to which these attacks refer. Oh, like the victim's wallet, you mean? Tube stations, cash points, fast food outlets. And the Broadway's a perfect example of this because there's an intersection of all three. Oh, so CID is now second-guessing criminals. Is that, is that the idea, is it? Intelligence-based police work is a way to fight crime now, Derek. Not just reactive investigation. All right, all right. There's no need to blind me with science. I'll clear it with Andrew Munro. You can have two off the late turn. After that, you can have as many as you like. And why's that? Because you'll be paying for the overtime, mate. I can't spare anyone from the night shift. So which two are you going to let me have from the late turn? Take your pick. Intelligence is all very well, but if I were you, I'd pick the ones that can run fastest. Andrew, yeah. Ticket office, escalator, platform. But this one will be most helpful, I should think. We only had it installed a few months back. Extra cover on the entrance. Unless they're already targeting the victims inside. No, that'd cost them a fortune in tube tickets. Well, perhaps they buy a weekly travel card. Mm. We're not sure where they're watching from, but it must be from one of the pubs or cafes overlooking the entrance. So they could be watching now. They usually wait till the rush hour's died down. People are more isolated then. Someone's coming out. That looks like Hutchins, all right. So the info's genuine? Not necessarily. DS Daily from DC Limes. I'm still outside the address Crime Stoppers gave us. There's an IC3 mail here answering Hutchins' description. Well, something's going off. Looks like he's having a row with his girlfriend. Do you think she's thrown him out, then? Well, it wasn't just foreplay, was it? The girlfriend's chucked him out. Hutchins is leaving the estate and heading towards the Broadway. Received. On the pavement, Tosh. Get on his tail. What on foot? Yeah, get them legs stretched. Stay tuned. That should steam Hutchins up a bit. 
But you think that'll get him in the mood, do you? Well, he'll want to take it out on someone. Let's hope it's not us. DC Scase from DS Daily is on his way, Rod. Tosh is following him. Better get in position. Received. Do you want to take a flower stand? I'll cover over here, yeah? DS Daily from DC Skate. Suspect has entered the burger bar and Tosh is right behind him. Yes, please. Oh, chicken in a bun, please. Fries with that. Why not? You ain't got the bottle for this, have you, Paul? Of course I've got the bottle, man. Yeah? Well, prove it. You're all right, then. But I get to pick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I do. So you don't choose rubbish. Are you coming or what? I'm coming in it. Two fifty. Oh, sorry, I was miles away. Uh, in the back, please, darling. Mm. Thanks very much. Bye. DC case from DC Lines. Suspect has left the burger bar with another male. I C three. They're heading back towards the tube station. Back towards the tube station. Received. Yeah, I've clocked the touch. Here comes the first one. I wonder who he's interested in. Let's hope they don't try and mug Debbie. Oh, I'll bet it's the woman with the mobile. There they go. Same tactics as before. Front and back tail. Debbie's on to them. Let's go down. Thanks, Brian. Need any help? No, we can handle it, thanks. Say, what'd you say? I'm sorry? I heard ya. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. Give me that! Oh, no, you don't! Oh, oh well, you're not leaving already, no. are you? Oh, 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 there you go. Nice one, Rod. Well done. Shout out to five from 561. Go ahead, Debbie. We've arrested two suspects, Sam. Can you bring the car around to Lansbury Street? Everything under control. Yes, Sarge. We got both of them. Good work. It's not down to us. It's that lady there. She's more than a match for him. I'm DS Daly. This is WDC Rawton, Sun Hill. It's all that's really necessary, Sergeant. I could have handled this myself. Well, I'm sure you could have. I was about to sort one of them out. Well, we'll let the cause handle that, shall we? Why waste everybody's time? A good hiding in the back of your van would be a far better deterrent. That's uh, not my style, I'm afraid. Now, if you accompany us to Sun Hill, we'll take a statement from you. have time for all that. I've got a parliamentary subcommittee to report to first thing in the morning. Uh, could you give me your name, please? Ainsworth. Kate Ainsworth. And your address? 44 Asquith Road. Miss Ainsworth, you do realise that this could have turned into a very serious attack. But it didn't, did it? These boys are a menace to everybody, not just yourself. You think about their future victims. I don't need a lecture in civic duty from you, Sergeant. I know my rights. I've given you my name and address. Are you sure you're all right, Mrs Ainsworth? Sometimes an attack like this can produce a delayed shock reaction. I'm fine. Thank you. Now, would you please stop patronising me and allow me to go about my business? Do you want me to go after her, Sash? No, uh, you'll only aggravate her. She's within her rights. Yeah, doesn't she know it, this selfish girl? I'll leave it for now, Liz. Talk to her in an hour or two. We can't force her to make a statement. Right. Tosh! What's your name, son? My name's Paul Malone. Where do you live? On this park estate, man. Look, you've got nothing on me. What are you arresting me for? On suspicion of committing a street robbery. <laughs> I ain't robbed no one. You're just beating on us because we're black, innit? I'm afraid he won't wash this time, Richie. We know all about you. Richie? Did you tell him my name? No, man, I never said nothing. How'd you know my name? It's Millie, innit? She told you. Paul, Millie fit us up, bro. Split them up, separate cars. Come on, oh. get in. Get in! What are we going to do them for, Sarge? I mean, we can hardly charge them for one field robbery, can we? Saw your lights on. Balancing the books. Yeah, what else? Do you know, I've come up with a new recruiting slogan. If you want a career in charge of the county, join the police force. 
Well, I just thought I'd let you know you can have Sam and Debbie back. We've got a couple of the muggers who have been working abroad where. So I gather, yeah. Got lucky then, did you? I think I do with luck. It's amazing what a good bit of inside info will do. I also heard that the victim doesn't want to play ball. No matter. We'll nail them on the previous attacks. How come you know so much already? Oh, I have my sources, Jack. After all, advanced intelligence is the name of the game these days, isn't it? I'm telling you she was beating on me. And I'm telling you, let me hear the arresting officer's version of events first. You'll get your turn in a moment. The victim had caught hold of this youth and was setting about him when WPC Keel and I arrived, Sarge. The victim was setting about him? Yes, Mrs Ainsworth, a tough lady. She must have done self-defence classes, Sarge. See, exactly. You want to be doing her for a sort and not me. Now, I've told you once, shut it. Look. I want my solicitor. Hey, come on. It's all in good time. Well, sit down. Mrs Ainsworth is in the station, is uh, she? No, Sarge. But she's made a statement. Not yet, Sarge. Uh, Bob, could I just have a quick word? Yes. Oi, 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 oi. He ain't right bringing us in here. I want to do you for wrongful arrest, mate. So, we've had these lads under surveillance for some time. We've got good reason to believe they've carried out earlier muggings in the area. I don't understand. Are you arresting them for the attack this evening or for these other offences? We got information from Crime Stoppers tipping us off about Hutchins. He's the other lad. But I have to decide on the basis of a specific offence, not on the basis of tip-offs that you might have got, Jeff. All we want, Bob, is time to interview him about all the recent muggings around the Broadway. All right, but you better come up with something concrete. Otherwise, they're out of here pronto. I'm not having people locked up in here while you go rooting around for evidence. Oh, oh. Look at them. Sorting it out amongst themselves. Getting their story straight. Wait until I tell my sister about this. Okay, we've collated all of the descriptions from the earlier muggings, and all we have in common is that the assailants are young IC3 males. So we've got nothing to pin down these two we've got in custody? Nope. Without Mrs Ainsworth's cooperation, we've got nothing on them. But they don't know what other evidence we might have on them, do they? So there's still a chance one of them might cough. Malone's favourite has got no previous. All right, we'll be right down. Sarge, Hutchins solicitor's in the front office. What, already? What about Malone? His mother's been informed. Right, keep digging. Looks like we'll have to start with Hutchins first, Liz. Who is the solicitor? Chris Lyser. Yeah, I thought it might be. Do you know him, then? Yeah, he runs a legal surgery in the Dollis Park Community Centre. Rather cough. You could say that. I've crossed swords with him a couple of times. He's an expert in stop and search, particularly in how it affects the black community. Ah, oh, Mr Lysett. Nice to see you again. Good of you to give up your evening to come in. Are you the arresting officers? That's right. I'd like a few minutes with my clients before we begin. Uh, with Richie Hutchins, certainly. With Mr Hutchins and Mr Malone. Paul Malone, but his mother's agreed to be his appropriate adult in the interview. I shall be acting as Paul Malone's legal representative. His mother's decided he needs proper legal representation in this case. Did she contact you? I don't think it need concern you how I get my information, Detective Sergeant Daly. Now, could I see my clients? Yes, certainly. So you're saying that Hutchins put his lawyer up to contacting Paul Malone's mother, persuading her to allow him to represent Paul? I'm damn sure of it, Gov. Lysis down there now in custody, helping him get the story straight. He's a lawyer, Jeff. He's abiding by the rules of his profession, same as we do. I don't want you getting into a head-to-head -head with Chris Lysis. Is that understood? Yes, Gov. The last thing we want is a standoff between Sunhill and the Dollis Park Estate community over something like this. You've got no concrete evidence, Jeff. Keep it low-key. Is Lysett still in there? Yeah, still in the detention room with Malone. He was with Hutchins for nearly half an hour. Must be word perfect by now. Right, there we go. Ah, oh, Mr Lysett, we could make a start on these interviews now. There are not going to be any interviews. Hmm? Sergeant, 
There's no case for my clients to answer. I would appreciate it if you'd release them both immediately. I don't think you're in a position to make demands, Mr. Lysett. You have no grounds on which to hold my clients. Oh, we think we have. They have informed me they are under arrest. Can you tell me why? Yes, they were arrested at the scene of an attempted robbery tonight. Are they going to be charged with this offence? I'm not prepared to say at this juncture. We want to speak to them in connection with a series of robberies that have taken place in the same area in the last few weeks. Are they going to be charged with these alleged robberies? Sergeant Daly? Not at this point. Both my clients emphatically deny any involvement with any offence. So as far as I can see, they should be released. Am I correct? This continuing vendetta against the black youths on the Dollis Park estate, Detective Sergeant, is having a detrimental effect on community relations with the police. I suggest you back off. My sources tell me you've had to let your tube station muggers go, Jack. The news travels fast. Mm. Well, at least in the old days, you knew a crime had actually been committed before an arrest was made. There is such a thing as bad luck, you know. Luck? I didn't think that was part of the equation anymore, Jack. Any developments? We've just tried Mrs. Ainsworth again. She's adamant. No dice. She's given me a right earful about privacy law. So where does that leave us? Well, we've just checked out Uchin's girlfriend. She's the one who lives at the address we staked out. Ex-girlfriend. She chucked him out, remember? Her name's Millie Densmore. When he was arrested, he thought that she grassed him up. Well, if he's right, maybe she'll give us some info. Well, it's worth a try, Jeff. You and Liz get down there right away. But if it was Millie who spoke to Crime Stoppers, what would be compromising her anonymity? Well, her name's coming to the inquiry from a completely separate route. So we won't be compromising Millie Densmore or Crime Stoppers if we pay her a call. Please. I'm DS Daly. This is WDC Rawton Sunhill. I'd like to ask you a few questions. At Richie Hutchins. Hardly know him. Well, it won't take long. Do you mind if I come in? No. I don't want people thinking I'm talking to the police. I mean, you don't want Richie to find out. I told you Richie's nothing to do with me. Come on, Millie. We know Richie was here earlier on today. Well, he ain't here now. You scared of something? Oh, just get off my doorstep, will ya? Sorry. Oh, I think she's worried. What do you be if you live round here? You still here? Yeah, thanks to you. I've just had a call from the Dollis Park Law Centre accusing us of harassment. Chris Lysett, you mean? Yeah, he's got his finger on the pulse down there. And his hands round our throat. Looks like this advanced intelligence of yours is up to real kind of worms, Jack. Sir, Crime Stopper's on the phone. Millie Densmore's flat's going to be attacked tonight by Hutchins' gang. I suspect her of being a grass. Same informant? Yeah, same number. Right, get on to Sergeant Durley and let him know exactly what's happening. And then you and Tosh, get down there as quick as you can. Sir. Uh, we're going to need backup, Derek. Looks like a bit of reactive policing's called for. I'll see what Andrew Monroe's got available. OK, Rod, we're on our way. Turn round, Liz, we're going back. What's happening? Latest info from Crime Stoppers. Millie Densmore's flat's about to be attacked. The gang thinks she's the informant. No wonder she was paranoid. Excuse me, please! Get out! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Down, Paul! Ah! Down, Paul! Put it down. Easy. Relax. Relax, Paul. Good lad. Easy. Good lad. Here you come with us. Come on. Come on. Hey. Oh, no. All right, Millie, you can come out now, it's the police. I thought you'd never get here! Shut him ah, out! Out! Ah, out! All right, Millie, they've gone. All right, no, sir! Get away, sir! Officer Bailey! <laughs> Good on you, Paul. 
<laughs> Move! Right! Crazy! It was Richie put him up to it. But he wasn't there, Millie. Oh, that's his way, isn't it? Getting the younger ones to do his dirty work. Just cos I chucked him out, I ain't no grass. He's lived with me long enough to know that. But don't worry, we'll get you some protection for tonight. No. And I want you out of here and all. You brought this down to me coming round here. But you brought us in this time, didn't you? You off your head. I don't talk to coppers. Not that anyone will believe me round here after this. I've got to get off this estate now. Thanks to you. Look, I don't want that lawyer this time, all right? You're going to need him more than ever, no, son. Listen, man, it was me. Uh, what? It was me that called you. I called Crime Stoppers. Who are? Look, if you don't believe me, I'll give you my number. 3287. That's my unique number. Check it with them. Don't worry, I will. I told you, didn't I? So why'd you do it, Paul? Why'd you grass Richie up and then stay in his gang? Was it for the reward? No, I didn't want the money. I just wanted Hutchins off my back. Why don't you just leave the gang? Stay away from them. You can't do that, not on the estate. You see, you've got to prove yourself, or else you become a target. And as for Richie, he didn't think that we had any bottle. He was always putting too much pressure on us. You were leading the gang just now, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, it had to look like I was involved, didn't I? You were involved in the robberies, weren't you? Yeah, but only as the decoy. I mean, knocking over old deers and all that. You've got to do serious time for that, ain't you? So, you call Crime Stoppers? Yeah, twice. Because you messed it up the first time. You didn't get him. I was going to tell you all this the first time you brought me in, but the lawyer told me to say nothing. Well, you could have come forward yourself. You could have volunteered that information. Get real. When Hutchins told us to do Millie's place, I rang you straight away. All right, son, I believe you. Look, I ain't your son, all right? Now you're going to be charging me or what? I could charge you with assaulting me, but under the circumstances... What? You're not going to charge me? Look, if you don't, right, they wonder why I got off. They might have assessed it was me who grasped up Richie. They need to see me in court or something. Nothing heavy, just a fine. Now, I know you can fix that, can't you? No, I can't. Hold on. I've helped you out by ringing up and all that. All right, all right. I'll tell you what I'll do for you. Next time Richie's got something going off, I'll simply ring you up again. You can't do that, Paul. Your name's now known to Crime Stoppers. They can't use you anymore. No, but you can. I just advise you to stay away from the gang, Paul. Sergeant, come on. Play the game. I can't go back with nothing. Ah. So that was what all this was about, was it? Initiation into the gang. Look. Hutchins is making both of our lives a misery. Somebody's got to get rid of him now. You can't, can you? So somebody's got to take charge. And for that, what do you need? You need respect in the gang. OK, Paul. You're nicked. Sorted. <laughs>